Now we're going to talk about comparison table of indoor versus outdoor because it is quite interesting to understand, well, why would you choose one or the other? Well, in terms of the required space, indoor substations are less, right? So you have to make everything compact, less space involved. But that also comes with a higher capital cost. As you have to shrink everything, you also have to pay extra for that square footage. And so it's a much higher capital cost. Outdoor substation, much more required space because everything is spaced out. And then uh, the capital cost is quite low for uh, outdoor substation in compared to the indoor one, right? Uh, required time for fault location for indoor substation because everything is so compact, it's much more difficult to find a fault, to understand where that fault is. It's not very obvious, of course. When faults happen within substation, it is very obvious where that fault is. But sometimes for indoor substation, it's not, right? And um, it might be a cable fault, you just, uh, or it might be a delta system, a grounded cable, you just might not know where it is. Whereas an outdoor substation, much easier to spot because it's everything is visible, right? Uh, features extension, uh, indoor substation, um, very difficult, indoor substation, right? four boxes uh, basically and uh, it's well defined it's much more difficult to expand future expansion of indoor substation because you have that physical uh, constraint physical limitation uh, for outdoor substation not as difficult uh, you could expand quite easily uh, you know purchase another parcel of land right next door and you could uh, get the cable runs from one place to another very easy for utilities to actually um, put in like a second bank and expand their substation. Hello everyone, Abdurrahman here from Alumiax Engineering. To learn more and to continue sharpening your technical skills, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, General Pack by Alumiax, or visit our website at alumiax.com learn.